Stability AI released a sound effect AI model called Stable Audio Tools. It allows you to create sound effects locally on your machine. You can also run this on a cloud server and install it privately on your server. These sound effect AI models are available for download on GitHub. You can check it out here where they also include the web UI for these tools, which they call Stable Audio Tools. They kind of mention how to install it here, but there are some tricky steps we have to go through. I have already installed it on my system and have come up with some steps and command prompts that many people might find difficult to understand. I summarize those steps, detailing the command prompts needed to install this properly. You also have to download their stable audio AI models from Hugging Face. I will provide this link in the post, which will be linked in the video description. You can check it out. Before you access this page, you need to submit a form to agree with your name and company, stating that you are using it responsibly and not for any fraudulent or illegal activities. After submitting everything, you will see this icon here. Click on Files and Versions to download the models. I have downloaded the models.ckpt file, which is 4.85 gigabytes. You can also download the .safe tensors files if you prefer. Either one works. The second file you need to download is the model config JSON file. Once you download the models and the JSON file, go to the stable audio tools and start playing around with it. Open up your command prompt window. You can start by cloning this GitHub project with git clone and pressing enter. As you can see, I have already downloaded it, so I don't need to run that again. For safety, you might want to create a Conda virtual environment to run this. I have done that already, so I don't need to create another one. Once your Conda virtual environment is created, activate it with Conda, activate stable audio, or whatever name you chose. Once you press enter, you will be in this virtual environment as indicated by the brackets in the prompt. Next, in this virtual environment, download Torch and Torch Vision with CUDA version 12 by pressing Enter. Once it finishes, you should have no problems installing the stable audio web UI as well. I have done that already, so I don't need to do it again. Even if I press Enter again, it will just tell me it's already installed, so I don't have to reinstall everything. Once you finish everything here, it's better to run pip install dot to install any necessary components or dependent libraries in this project and you will be almost ready. Lastly, you need to install the stable audio tools. For the first time install, these are the steps you need to follow. Every time you want to run the stable audio tools, paste this command prompt. Python run jar at p and specify the .ckpt path. I have downloaded both the .ckpt and .safe tensors files. In this case, I run the model .ckpt file in this parameter, specifically for the AI models running locally. In the model configuration, we point to the JSON file we just downloaded. These are the two files we need to specify, then press enter. Because I am not in the folder yet, I have to go inside the folder before doing this. So, remember to cd into your subfolder of the stable audio tools. Again, run the Python command line, which is this one, and press enter. It will take a while to kickstart everything on your machine. Once done, it will show the IP and port numbers and HTTP URL that you can access in your web browser. As you can see, we successfully kickstarted this project. Let's enter this URL and do it in the web browser. Here I have done an example, a simple waterfall sound effect, and this is how it sounds. As you can see, it's not high quality, but it is good enough to match what I described, a waterfall sound. You can create all kinds of effects like that as well. For example, I always use a whoosh sound in my sound effects. Whatever prompts you type in here will be a descriptive text that describes the sound effect you want to generate. And one thing you have to do is set the total seconds in this column here. 
The maximum duration is 47 seconds. For the stable audio tools, I usually find that 5 seconds is good enough. Just, you know, a few seconds of sound effect for some short moments to insert into videos, actions, and things like that. The steps by default are 100. You can set it to 100 steps for sampling steps. And CFG that is similar to what we usually do in diffusion models like stable diffusion. We do that as well, setting CFG seed numbers and also the sampling type. This should look familiar to you. I believe if you have played around with stable diffusion, there should be no problem understanding the sampling method as well. Here, we also have the option for initial audio. You can use some audio from your existing files as an input reference. The generated audio will follow the initial audio sound and continue to generate something similar. Right now, we don't have any initial audio for reference. Let's try out this simple whoosh sound and see how it goes. Click generate and it will start processing in the back end of the system. Wait for it to finish and we will have the generated result. Let's check it out. And of course, if you want something longer, you can do that as well. Try something with 20 seconds. Let's play some guitar and see. Actually, let's do a better one. Let's do a bass guitar, for example. Let's do a bass guitar solo. Let's see what we get in these 20 seconds. Click generate. It's very fast. Just, you know, because it's just audio running with your GPU graphics card. And it's done. Let's check it out. Since this doesn't really sound like a bass guitar, let's listen one more time and see. So yeah, let's generate one more time. Maybe I don't need to put solo, just bass guitar, and see how it goes. Just using this keyword and see how it goes, doing more CFG, like 8, and try it. As you can see, it has a counter right there. It took exactly 8.3 seconds to generate this whole sound effect. I think it's really cool. We don't need to pay for any additional fees or libraries to get some sound effects. Let's check this one out. This one sounds more like a bass guitar. Yeah, so that will be good. We can use that. Basically, they have other versions in stable audio. They have version 2 on the Stability AI official website. So they released this 1.0 and it's freely downloadable. Hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, AI is changing the world. It looks like we won't need to spend additional money subscribing to any stock footage or stock sound effects in the future. See you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. See ya.